Hello watchers and subscribers. This is Shrikes from SmartArt. Welcome to Ruby tutorial number 13. In this tutorial, I would like to show you about initialize method, getter and setter methods. All these methods are found inside the Ruby class. Now let's move forward. Now first of all, what is initialize method? This is a method as the name indicates it helps it helps you to initialize initialize all the variables at the time of object creation. When you create an object, then that object then that object variables are found inside the class. Those variables are getting initialized. Secondly, it is a predefined method. You can't use other than this keyword. This keyword is fixed, initialize. It's a, it is a predefined method. Thirdly, it is automatically called when the object is created. When you create an object, object is equals to class name dot new. Then this initialize method is automatically called. Now fourthly, it acts as a constructor for a class in Ruby. If you have done C++ or Java programming, in that case we have a class. Inside the class we have a constructor. So whenever you create an object of the class, that default constructor is automatically called. In similar way, when an object is created here, that constructor, that in this initialize method is automatically called. So it acts as a constructor. Now let's move forward. Now let us find out what, is, what are the syntax of writing initialize method inside the class. Suppose we are having a class box. This is the end keyword end for, for ending the class. Then we have a method def initialize with parameter w comma h. This is width. This is height of the box. This is end of this function. This initialize is a predefined keyword and here it is acting as a constructor. Now, here we are having two instance variables at the rate width, at the rate height equal to w comma h. So, at the rate width comma, at the rate height equal w comma h. This w is assigned to this instance variable width here and this h is assigned to this height. We can also write in a different way. You can simply write at the rate width equal to w, at the rate height equal to h. There was two alternatives that I showed you both. Now. If you create an object box equal to box dot new and pass the parameters 10 comma 20 then as soon as this box is created this object is created this initialize method is called and this 10 and 20 is passed to this initialize method 10 and 20 so accordingly width becomes 10 and height becomes 20 now there are two more things guys, getter and setter. We will first discuss about getter methods which is also known as accessor methods. Now previously, here we have, now if you want to print the parameters like put as width of the box, put as height of the box, then in that case, we have to use this getter method. This allows you to access the, uh, sorry. This getter method actually allows the user to get the variables, get the instance variable of the object created. Now, suppose we are having the class box, end of the class, nothing new guys, whatever we have done in the previous slide, we are, we are showing just that only here. Now, there is a constructor, as we have discussed before, this also we have discussed before. Now, here we are having a function def display width and return at the rate width. Now, in this case, this function is returning a value at the rate width. So, when we call a function put test, when you write a statement put test box dot display width, this box dot display width is calling this function and this function is returning a value of at the rate width instance variable here. So we are getting put s at the rate width. So this is a getter. Now similarly for the height we are having a method def display height and return at the rate height. This function is returning the value of height which is the instance variable height to where to here box dot display height is calling this method and this method is returning a value whose value is coming here in place of box dot display height put s at the rate height hope you're getting it guys so this is also a getter now let's check the output output will be 10 and 20 at the rate 
width is 10 and putter's head rate height is 20. Now let's move forward guys. Let's move on to setter. Now the function which initialize method was doing can be done by using setter. Initialize method was also initializing the variables by using constructor. Similarly here also we are setting the values by using some user defined functions like suppose we are having the class box and earlier we were having these two getters like this these were two getters in the here we were having the statement box equal to box dot new that means box is the object created of the box class now here in this white space we were having the initialize method which was the constructor which was initializing all the instance variable of the object boss box now instead of initialize method I will put a setter method here now what is the syntax of a setter method let's see here def space set with equal to parameter w at the rate with equal to w and this is called a setter method now how to call a setter method this is a syntax to call a setter method box dot set width equal to 10 this box dot set width equal to 10 will pass the value 10 to a setter I mean to this w so this w will carry a value of 10 this whenever this equal sign is encountered this setter method is called so at the rate width becomes 10 now we are having a second setter here set width equal to edge here in a similar way we are calling the box dot set height equal to 20 so this h is getting the value of 20 so finally we are getting height equal to h now these two are setter this is the syntax how we are going to write setters in future in ruby programming now let us print these values of height and width with the help of the getter function which we see which we have seen earlier put as box dot display width this gives us the value of 10 nothing new guys box dot display height this gives us the value of 20 now let's say the output here we are getting the output of 10 and 20 because our width is 10 our height is 20 so with the help of getter we are extracting the value so this is all for this tutorial guys if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave a comment below my video and in the next tutorial i will show you how to code for getter setter initialize method within with the help of app and studio 3 thank you